Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm going to be packing for my trip to the High Peaks Wilderness Area in Adirondacks. Alright, so I'll start with the big three. The first thing is my tent. Uh, when I'm hiking alone, I just bought this actually, uh, the, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 2 tent. So I do get the two person because I have my dog with me. Um, so that is definitely a factor when I look at tents. And yeah, it is a little bit heavier, but I gotta make sure I can fit my dog in there as well. I have an Enlightened Equipment Quilt. Whew, I freaking love this thing. It's a 20 degree. It's a size small. Like they have a small, regular, and long. Um, or short, I mean short, regular, long, and I'm not going to take it all the way out, but, oh man, look at this. It's so fluffy. It's so comfortable. Alright, and then my pack. My pack's REI uh, Flash 55, It's a so it's a 55 liter backpack, small, fits pretty well. I like it. It's really small, um, but fits a lot of stuff in there. Next thing, my X-Ped winter mat. So this is, I believe, a 7.1 R, R value. Keep me nice and warm. Uh, I got this as a gift, and I really, really enjoy this. A lot of people don't know about X-Ped. And it's surprising because their mats are like extreme quality. Like they're really good. They are expensive, but they're super, super comfy. Um, they have a liner in there too. So when you're when you're laying down, especially if you're a quilt person, when you're laying down, it's nice and soft. Alright, next thing. Um <laughs> my liner. So it's a bit heavy on the heavier side. It's uh, just a microfiber liner. Um, if I'm warm enough, this is something for my dog. Uh, if I can tell that he's cold, which our last hike, it only got down to 45, he was cold. And so I use this for him to keep him a little bit warmer. All right, next thing on the list is my pillow. It's super small and I say, why not? Let's bring it. Uh, I have a bigger pillow by XPed, but as you can see, size wise, it's probably best to bring this guy. This is a Bear Vault. I know a lot of people do not recommend these because they have been known to uh, get kicked in by, by bears and been cracked open. Um, but uh, if that happens, I'm only going out for two days and that would really suck, but I would just hike out like it's not really that big of a deal to me. If it happens, it happens. Um, my shoes, these are my camp shoes. Super, uh, super lightweight. Um, I think they're by Earth Runners. Clothes, I have a beanie that's a bit thicker. Patagonia. Just want to keep my clothes in, just a Sea to Summit, um, it's just, it's waterproof, so this is what I got. For, uh, hiking, and I have a sun hoodie, super thin, keep me somewhat warm, it's by Patagonia, little hood, and then these are my sh shorts by Cole. I actually really enjoy these. These are really comfy. Just got these. My last hike uh, was super comfortable in them. Probably my favorite favorite pair right now. And then if I get cold, I just put these on. They're like little runners from uh, from Patagonia. They don't have any pockets though. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. But that's okay. Uh, they're super super light. Little windbreakers, if you will. And then. The whole reason I got them is they have these buttons 
on uh, on the ends. That way I don't have to take my boots off or shoes or whatever I'm wearing. Um, I can just slip them right on. Let's see. This is my next layer. It's just a Melanzana hoodie. A lot of people have these and they don't talk about them. Probably to keep it a secret. Um, but love this thing. It's super bright. And the hood keeps you nice and co cozy. It has a little cinch there. And yeah, there's the Melanzana. And then it has pockets like a hoodie. But it's like Polar Tech if you've ever owned uh, anything by Polar Tech. It's kind of like that. Same type of fabric, but like softer and cozier. All right, and then for my next and final layer, I have a Patagonia Nano Puff. Uh, it's just the uh, synthetic down. It's not the down jacket. Um, I think it just it does just as good. I'm not gonna go out and buy buy a new one just because this one's synthetic and not down. Um, for rain gear, I have just some cheap REI rain pants. This is probably where I could cut the most weight, um, but. This is what I have, and this is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to pay money to get a few ounces lighter. And then this is just a uh, pullover Under Armour uh, rain jacket slash windbreaker. Um, I I've had this for I don't know how long. It's a mittens, I believe, but it's nice. I like it. And then I have um, a Buffy. This I think I'm going to be using more as a mask than anything while I'm on trail. Um, I have a, a beanie and I prefer to use that. I know you can use these as beanies as well. But I prefer an actual beanie, especially if it's going to get down to the 30s at night. Um, and then I have socks to sleep in. And... Some uh, wool pants to sleep in by REI. And, doo -doo -doo. and some gloves by REI. Uh, and I guess they're Polar Tech. For uh, my ditty bag, if you will, I have a waterproof Sea Summit bag. And here I keep a uh, power block by Anchor. Uh, just a Takina. You see that? <clears throat> Takina Petzl uh, headlamp. I've done nothing to make this any lighter. I think it's fine how it is. Uh, I have batteries in here right now, but you can get a rechargeable block that you can put in here. That way you're not just having to buy more and more batteries. That's seemed fine for me. I have a, uh, a cable charger. And then a uh, uh, the old style cable. I don't know what you call those. And then a, uh, a power block. Food. I have my canister, my fuel canister, the just uh, MSR. And I have a crappy B BRS stove, and uh, in here I just have the the the, uh, the stove, and then. Two uh, small little big lighters in there. Just have a uh, GSI Outdoors uh, min minimalist pot. Um, I've taken everything out of there that's on there, and I just have this. 
I, uh, what is it, Sea to Summit? Sea to Summit. I uh, know Tokes makes one as well. Um, this has worked just fine. Just as light. And then, this guy is the pot grabber. And this came with the, with the pot. And I, for a while I was like, what is this little, little button? But you take this, put it right on there. And it sits there while it's cooking. I thought that was super cool. For water, I have the uh, Katadin Bee Free water filter, one liter. Um, works fantastic. I haven't had any issues. And then I bring uh, two two liter smart water bottles with me. Got wipes, and I'll put a, a little bit of toilet paper in here as well as another plastic baggie. That way I can put my uh, used uh, wipes and toilet paper into the plastic baggie as like my my uh, my trash can basically. All right, for the dog, I have a parka for him, which actually fits amazingly well. As long as you do your due diligence and you actually uh, measure them out like it says to, it, it, uh, it fits extremely well. This is what it looks like on the dog. So first aid um, I keep in his bag. Uh, there's more things in here for him than there are for me. His, uh, his rough wear uh, bowl. I use this for water and for food because it's fine. He eats his food and then I put water in there afterwards. I have another liner, a soap liner. This is also to keep him uh, warm. And then some booties by Rough Wear as well. Um, he seemed to be licking his feet a lot on the last trip, so it's probably best that we put these on him a little bit earlier in the tri in this trip. It'll be a longer trip. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's uh, everything for me and the dog. Um, Dempsey and I are super excited. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I don't know how Dempsey is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to be going up to the high peaks at our index, and we are going to be enduring uh, some pretty cold weather. It, it's, at least for me, like 30 degrees might not be cold to a lot of people, but hiking in it and sleeping in it um, is definitely new to me. So I'm glad I have the gear to keep me warm, and you know, the gear might not be the lightest you can get, but it's going to keep me warm. And that's, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Dance. You made somebody go away.